My memory of working with my dad would be a cabin that was up in Cochiti. My dad brought out other carpenters that either were relatives or good friends that he had grown up with. That was something that was special to me because we weren't told that we had to go disappear. We were all enticed to help out. We grew up that way, using our hands, preparing our own things. I worked in fabrication shops with loud noises and steel and welding and sparks. Graduated to some office work, learned uh, construction management out here at Kirtland Air Force Base. I knew I was gonna be there till I retired. The call that changed my life was actually a call from my brother. And he told me, I want you to leave Lockheed Martin and I want you to come help me start a water jet business. I said, well, I'm gonna have to think about it. So I went home and talked to Sherry, my wife. She said, you should take a chance at this. So we took the risk. I left a comfortable job. Started, oh, about a week after our conversation. It wasn't a type of business that you open the doors and people start walking in right away. There was times where I had to go borrow money to make payroll, to make machine payments. And it's asking everything of the people who helped you get started. Just when we were starting to get going and get a customer base going and starting to feel kind of confident, 2008 came along. The phone calls stopped overnight. Nobody was spending any more money on anything. I had to go to the employees and said, if everybody's willing to take a sacrifice and take reduced hours and not lay anybody off, and not lose an employee that has to go home and tell somebody, I don't have a job anymore. That's what we'll do. Everybody took a step forward and said, we'll all take reduced hours. We don't want to lose anybody. You talk about a heartfelt moment. The moment I knew we'd made it is when we signed that last lease payment for our first machine on the back of one of our employees. And they sent us a title. It's like, whew, we've made it. We made it. We paid off the first machine. And we're here to stay. So these machines are run with a, quite a bit of complexity of motors and drives, but a computer is telling those things what to do. So you're drawing out here on a computer and it's telling this pin to move around and it may cut this hole and then it may traverse all the way over here and cut another hole and traverse over here. And these machines are very, very precise. It's getting into a thousandth of an inch of accuracy. Water jet cutting is a very versatile type of service that we can offer. And it could be somebody down in a ditch replacing a valve and that flange is 30 or 40 years old it's not available on the shelf but we can get it cut and have them back in service in a few days or a day there is a vast amount of artists that come here they tell us what they want to get cut and we translate that into a cnc program but we are not the artists they are but it helps them create something that they may not have been able to do by themselves, but by no means do we tell them how to do their job. We're here to help them, dedicating 100% of our attention to that product. We take great pride in what we do here. That's not just me, it's everybody here. If there's a problem, the answer will always be do what's right, do what's honest to the customer, whether it's a walk-in customer or those government entities that we sign on the dotted line on a contract. So if you follow that, you're gonna have a, a happy customer in the end. That person may have shown up at four o'clock p.m. and they need, really needed this, this cutting service done, whatever it is. We'll turn around, we'll, we'll unlock the door, 
start up the machines, and get that job cut for them. We feel it's an obligation because those people have become friendships now. And they're not gonna tell you I have to have it unless they really mean it. That's when the excitement comes on. To see the employees say, yep, let's go. Let's go back in. Let's start everything back up. Let's turn the switches on. Let's get the lights on. Let's get the forklift going. Let's get this job done. That, you can't put a price to. You know, looking back, I think my parents would be proud of what we built here with my wife and my two sons and our water jet family.